and no i do not know when they're going to roll out the enhanced version for this device but again the rollout for enhanced version on the mi 11x and the poco f3 has been a poop show so pretty sure you do not want more poop on your already pooped up device with poop launcher hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you what is new and what is missing in the official build of miui 12.5.4 based on android 11 running on the indian variant of the poco x3 pro now those of you who have watched my video about 12.5.4 on the global variant of the poco x3 pro feel free to close this video and not waste your time because everything is almost the same now the only change which I have noticed in this build is that the security patch has been updated to August 2021. That's it. Other than that we can now jump over to the things which are missing. So this here is the control center. Do you get your data usage in the control center? No. Next up we can see if the ever so famous feature of MIUI 12.5 wherein they would let you uninstall system apps. Is that feature live or not? So whether is one of the apps which you should be able to uninstall, can you uninstall it? Mm, no. So that feature is also missing. Next up we can talk about the ever so famous or infamous poop launcher. Have the animations of poop launcher been fixed? Well the proof is on your screen right now the answer to that is no do you get your floating windows in the poop launcher the answer to that is no as well and of course in the ama poco india director anuj sharma said that they are working on poco launcher 3.0 and trust me they've been working on it for more than a year so it might take them another five years to roll it out next up let us see if they still think they have always on display so we can go into settings and once we are in settings we can go into battery and performance and try to fix the battery issues there it is turn off always on display so yes the poco team thinks they have always on display on this lcd panel next up let us see if you get the new game turbo 4.0 so i have enabled game turbo for the me remote application and let us see nope you still get the old game turbo so no game turbo 4.0 then do you get the 90 fps screen recorder so let us open the screen recorder application and then we can go into settings frame rate nopes you still do not get the 90 fps option in the frame rate of me ui screen recorder then we can also check out whether you get the new files application or not no do you get any new features in the camera application the answer to that is also no then we can also check the gallery application to see if somehow they gave you the new gallery application no let us go into settings digital well-being do you get the one with focus mode from me ui no we can also go into privacy to see if you get the new one wherein if something is accessing your camera and microphone no that is also not there then we can also see if you get the feature of partial screenshot or not so you can go into settings additional settings here and do you have partial screenshot no do you at least get the new power menu uh no you do not get the new power menu either so unfortunately the only thing which poco can add is the security patch now moving over to the benchmark scores so how i test the benchmark scores is like i execute four back-to-back -back and two to runs everything is executed at 120 ambient temperature of 25 to 30 degrees celsius and then once the four and two to runs have finished i execute a cpu throttle test here on screen are your and two two results and surprisingly they were not as good as what i got with 12.5.3 india and in fact they were less than what i got with 12.5.4 global so yes there was a significant drop in the antutu score we went from 572,000 to say 500 Fifty thousand, something like that and in one case it was 549,000 so definitely some drop over there now with respect to the battery the battery usage was identical across all the different versions and the same applies for 
the temperature increase as well but yes the scores were definitely lower as compared to the previous build of 12.5.3 for india and 12.5.4 for the global variant of the poco x3 pro now with respect to the cpu throttle test the cpu throttle to like 81 percent and the scores were again respectable nothing out of the ordinary now when you compare it to the Indian build of 12.5.3 again the scores in CPU throttle test were also lower so all these numbers what they show is that you might see a performance dip with this new 12.5.4 update for the Poco X3 Pro and no I do not know when they're going to roll out the enhanced version for this device but again the rollout for enhanced version on the Mi 11X and the Poco F3 has been a poop show so pretty sure you do not want more poop on your already pooped up device with poop launcher and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you